It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it comes your way next on Madden Football. It is a beautiful night for football here in the Midwest as we are at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. Hill shedding the tackle. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. In motion, Aguilar. That ball's caught. Aguilar, right side. Right away, they rack up 10 yards on their first play from scrimmage. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play and immediately got to the pass. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down and two. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they can be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll power his way forward for about four yards there on the first down carry. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. From the 37, they work on second and six. Jackson. Pass on the crossing route is complete. This is Andrews. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 25-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. From the 20, here's second and six.
Play action. Now Jackson finds his man over the middle. It's likely. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. The tight end in motion right. Henry again on second down. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time, that's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. They'll send a tight end in motion right. Henry. Will take this into the end zone. It's a Ravens touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Well, that was his first target of the game, and it's going to take at least one more target to get him on the board. Took a nice substantial hit to jar that catch loose from him. Incomplete pass. Now a second and ten. Now here's Mahomes. Had his hands on it, but dropped it. The rookie making a little bit of a rookie mistake. Third down. He was out there waving his arms saying throw it here. Dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball. And he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. No surprise to see a sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. 
He's across midfield. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. If you're these receivers, you got to be ready because when he's going to throw it quick on that RPO, he's going to throw it quick. And this is why you spend time with your guy either in the offseason, during the week, the whole bundle. Because sometimes it's just telepathy. You both see the same thing, and he knows get the ball to him right away. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Here's Mahomes to throw. That'll be caught by Rice. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Pacheco. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside. And in for the Chiefs touchdown from eight yards out. And the Chiefs respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play and they got it done there. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And running with power here. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. motion Hagelor now it's Jackson completes it to Hagelor give him a gain of five on the completion and that'll make it second down we've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter haven't we we have and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because number one you throw the short game until they stop it and if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And his throw here is incomplete. But prior to that, he had hit his first six passes to start the game, so on a nice little run to begin. It feels like this offense has carried its dress rehearsal into the game, you know, because you do practice it, you do go through it, and in this case, it is clicking exactly like they drew it up. From the gun, Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 
42 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop him. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 27. In motion left goes a tight end. And Jackson throwing once more. On target to his man, likely. So the completion good for seven there at its second down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Henry's got it out on the left side. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport steak. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Raven football here as we begin quarter number two as they've got it with a third down coming up in search of four yards here to pick up the first down Jackson will throw again Lamar Jackson such a threat with those legs able to improvise and get the first oh, Brandon that's a gamer move right there facing third down steps up calls his own number and nearly makes the house call if I'm the coach I let him take another one right here give him a chance to be the first one to hit the end zone after that effort he just gave him they'll bring the tight end in motion right they go play action now. Jackson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line. First down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Line of scrimmage. Again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. Inside handoff. Henry. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. And a nice job defensively to keep him out of the end zone. He's trying to get a second touchdown already in the first half. They had that one earlier. was bidding for a second. This is third and goal. This Chiefs defense, they're giving it all they got. Throwing is Jackson. Sliding out of the pocket. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have taken the lead. Now this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit, because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate. You should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep him back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Mm. 
And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? why I wouldn't it? change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. Mahomes now to throw, and this one nearly picked off. Yeah, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. And that one caught by Rice. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. What an intelligent play as he found open grass and uncovered quickly. A nice clutch play to move the chains. The defense, they've got to do a much better job of accounting for these shorter routes. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Downfield throw tip, but he still got it. And a big play there for KC, and even 40 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Pacheco is into the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Well, they move the ball down the field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on his stat sheet, but you and I both know, and he knows as well, his teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. Butker now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A drive there of just four plays. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. And now here come the Ravens. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that throw behind his man, he missed him, incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
In motion right is Aguilar. Jackson now. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. And they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. The Ravens on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and ten. Here's Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That gain on third down, good for 28. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. To throw again is Jackson. Throw right side is complete to Andrews, his tight end. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the option, here's Henry. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. This complete left side to Aguilar. They'll wind up getting just a yard, and it'll be second down. Here's Jackson to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens have taken the lead. On that third down call, the goal was to get the ball to their tight end and pick up a first down. But he wasn't satisfied with just that. They got the first down. That was the gravy. He decided to take in the whole meal and rumbled in for a touchdown. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's Mark Andrews who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Sheds off the tackle. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26.
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Out right and brought in by Moore. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Now Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The first catch for the All-Pro Kelsey. It's a first down. Well, that's certainly familiar. Kelsey making the catch and picking up a first down. And he continues to produce at a high level here in his 12th year in the NFL. He's topped 90 catches in each of the last six seasons. And barring something dramatic happening, there's a good chance they'll make it seven straight when it's all said and done. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Rice. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now it's Mahomes again. Throw left side, completion to Rice. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 33. That'll put him over 100 yards receiving now here in this first half of action. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On play action, it's Mahomes. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. And he is going to lose yardage here. Justin Matabike firing across the line there and planning him for a loss. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They'll have to deal with a second and 14 now after the loss. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Mahomes going to throw. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Well, they've certainly done a nice job spreading the ball around on this drive. This time he gets it out to his back, and it's another nice play and another first down. They've got the defense on their heels a little bit. They're reacting instead of being aggressive and making plays. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Only a yard on the completion, it's second and goal. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. So the ball position now at the three, here's second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. He finds Moore in the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. A great play there. Laying him 
himself out in the end zone. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes, because that's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far, and fun to watch. couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Raven offense going to take over late in this first half. And they've got a little under 40 seconds to go if they want to try to put something together here. So first and 10 now from the 30. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Henry up the middle. Bust through the tackle. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Second down and three. Now Jackson. He's got it complete to Aguilar. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Now it's Jackson. To the sideline and incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. To throw is Jackson. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back at the 24. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in, and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the 
party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chiefs offense and Patrick Mahomes headed back onto the field. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them and these guys have been taking advantage so far took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down headed straight it's Pacheco now inside the 25, and finally wrestled down at the 8-yard line. 54 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. So he nearly took it the distance, gets him down inside the 10 for a first and goal. I'd love to be in his head right now, because is he rewarding himself for a great run, or is he kicking himself because he didn't get all the way to the goal line? The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now here's Mahomes. Got a man and he hits him in stride. A gain of seven that time. Second goal. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through, but that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab, and the Chiefs have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. For the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here. 
and start matching them point for point, but it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second down, they go again with Henry. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. In motion, Aguilar. Now Jackson taps this forward, jet sweep. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. This second and four. Off the option, here's Henry. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. 69 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. In motion, Aguilar. That ball's caught. Aguilar, right side. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Now it's Jackson. And there's a quick throw caught by Andrews. And Andrews going to have a Ravens first down as he'll take this down to the 22-yard line. They'll get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Play action. Now Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter. That has them an extra point away from tying things up. And, partner, this is pretty much what they envisioned when they were sitting there in the locker room thinking about getting things going to start here in the third quarter. Getting out there, a field goal would have been fine, but going ahead and scoring here, X point away from tying things up, that's exactly how they drew it up on the board. Tucker now to add the point after. He's got it. This thing's turning a bit wild here. We're tied at 28. So that drives seven plays in length. And it's Rashad Bateman who finished it all off with a touchdown. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And able to get this out to the 25.
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and ten. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Here's Mahomes to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second and six. They go play fake. Mahomes. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 39. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll bring the tight end in motion right here. Throwing now is Mahomes. Able to find Gray here. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now, coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Mahomes now to throw. And it's incomplete. And there's a good opportunity to just want to ride there. A drop pass. I guess that's why they call them running backs and not catching backs. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Escaping the pressure right. Breaks through the contact. And Mahomes picking up the first as he slides and hits the deck. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. He'll drop to throw. Got his tight end. That's complete. That's Gray. A good display of power, but it will only get him just inside the 5 to the 4. That's good. The completion there for 7 yards. And that's going to bring up second down. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Second down, ball on the three. First down marker at the one-yard line. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Four yards on the play. That's going to lead to first and goal. Yeah. 
They'll run here with Pacheco. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Isaiah Pacheco, his second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. And this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with the touchdown run to take the lead. Extra point by Butker is on target. And they will take a seven-point lead. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Oh, now it's free. Hill fumbled it. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. As that ball got away from him, and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his <laughs> pain, and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm -hmm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice. He didn't carry it over into the game. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And the Ravens are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Here comes the Raven offense now, ready for another possession. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 16. They begin with Henry. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a lot of running room there. Not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Henry again on second down. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. The Ravens on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. Here it's third and two. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. To the right side, into the hands of Flowers. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Oh, 
In motion, Aguilar. They'll try the right side with Henry. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. Two things to watch. First is strength and being able to break out that initial contact. But at his size, once you slow his momentum, it's hard for him to get it started again and end up tackling him behind the line of scrimmage. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. A big play that time on the catch and run. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. On the option right is Jackson. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. From the 31, here's the second down and six. Here's Jackson to throw. A short throw caught by Andrews. So five yards here, five on the play. And that will bring up third and one. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. Yeah, Henry fighting for the marker, but I don't think he got there. He did not. Call it no gain that time, and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and one. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They're going for it with the option right. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Now it's first and ten after a costly penalty there on fourth down. And the busy night for Henry continues. And he'll power ahead, but only for about three yards. Second down coming up. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Jackson now. On target to his man, likely. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. It's a 10-yard gain there to set him up first and goal. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's 4-for-4 four four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down 7. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Throwing is Jackson. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman.
Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Derrick Henry with his second touchdown of the night. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the posts, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive spans 13 plays. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here's first and ten. Here's Mahomes. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete <laughs> a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Mahomes. His throw incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Mahomes. Complete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Here's the Chiefs punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. A punt of 46, a return of five. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Ravens offense and Derrick Henry set to take over once more. And as we take a look at some of the highlights, we see just how impactful he's been. He and his quarterback have such a great chemistry together, and it's been on full display throughout the contest. They'll come up first and ten here. Jackson to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. 
Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. The Arrowhead crowd in full roar. Here's third down. Flush to his right. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with 65 seconds remaining. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. That's taken on the 25. Well, following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. This is first and ten. Mahomes to throw it. Throw left side, completion to Rice. They'll come up now on second down. Mahomes finding Kelsey and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Well, this offense still has the one timeout here, remember. First and ten. Mahomes will throw. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. He has been terrific today, hasn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Run flawless two-minute drill right here. This has been quarterbacking 101 with a flourish. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. Everything right now resting on the right foot of Harrison Butker. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. They'll spot it at the 40. It's a 50-yard kick for the win. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25.
One last shot for Jackson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious.